Well, John Hanna is former National Security Advisor to former VP Cheney and a senior counselor at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, so Heather. So this uh, just the latest in a long list of provocations from Iran. What should our response be? Well, the administration has been talking now for several weeks about organizing an international naval flotilla to protect um, international oil traffic in the Gulf. Uh, there's a meeting that's supposed to happen on Friday at the State Department together with the Pentagon trying to organize this flotilla with some of our allies and partners internationally. I think all of that effort has now got to be accelerated and intensified and very, very quickly the answer needs to be the international community is not going to allow Iran to succeed in trying to put at risk 20 percent of the global economy's supply of oil. Yeah, the U.S., uh, the head of the U.S. Central Command agrees with you. He just said it's an international problem. It's not a United States problem. But does the international community understand that? Well, that's the, the key question, of course. Uh, the Iranians have been escalating now for several months, threatening shipping in the Gulf in addition to blowing through several of the constraints in the nuclear deal. And the Europeans have yet to actually step up and say enough is enough. Rather than just diplomacy and trying to talk the Iranians down off of this ledge, we are going to start joining the United States and imposing a real diplomatic and economic and military price on Iran. It's really time for Europe to put up or shut up. But at the same time, uh, Rand Paul now is going to be the uh, emissary to Iran for President Trump. And as we know, his views uh, in terms of the military and war are very different than President Trump. That's right. Absolutely. On the one hand, you've got to say, listen, the president is going every last mile, including uh, authorizing uh, one of his uh, 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 critics of his Iran policy to actually reach out to Tehran to see whether or not we can get to the negotiating table. On the other hand, at some point in time, this kind of escalation by the Iranians, if it's met with missed, uh, mixed signals, if it's met with um, uh, 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 begging for negotiations uh, through proxies mm -hmm. who don't actually agree with your policy, I'm afraid the Iranians get the wrong signal. They sense weakness, a lack of re resolve, and they only continue to escalate further. And then we're looking at a, a much larger and more costly conflict, yeah. potentially. Well, um, increasing these uh, incidents has definitely been what's happening with Iran so far. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Heather.